um, and they they're all fire. But some of them, they come in and they coming in a little bit hot. They coming in hot. They they're, calling out some of the old dragons, and they, they and they think not only are they gonna carry the torch, but they think they gonna burn you with that torch. Yeah, <laughs> like okay, so <laughs> what a lot of people really gotta understand is that like even myself have to have to pay homage to the previous era. That's that's real talk. You know what I mean? I didn't just like I didn't meet Flat Top. I didn't meet Mr. Animation. I didn't meet Chuko. I didn't meet Wavo. I didn't meet Boardman Sam. and go to them and say. I want your spot. I'm taking it. Now I'm bored, man. <laughs> but that does contrast with what we were saying before because here's the thing. We want to keep the battle culture alive and we know that but, the young people are going to but, come do that. But how yes. We, what, how oh, should they do how? it? Yeah. Okay, the number one thing that has to... And this goes with anything in life. Like if, if you don't have the respect on the table from the jump... How do you expect to get to the next level? You're just gonna run over who paved the way for you? No, you gotta pay your dues I first. I do think that. And I think like, as far as when I say the culture right now is soft, there's also another thing going on. They don't have respect at all. Like we talk, like yeah, in church, you talk about respect for your elders and all that. Yeah. They don't have respect for the people who committed, who do, who have done the work to create the foundation of the art that we do. Yeah. So oftentimes, even then, I've brought up people like Mr. Wiggles, who is fire in my opinion. One Shout of them, out, Mr. Wiggles. In fact, yes, he's sir. inspired every one of us here. Yeah. If you bring him up to a lot of the younger people, that who is that guy? He he's he's this he's that. Yeah. Dude. The man start. If it wasn't for him, you wouldn't be doing a lot of stuff you do. Exactly. You have even like say the man is gets old and he's in his seventies and he can no longer dance. If he comes to a competition, you better show him some respect. Yeah. Because the reality is, if it was not for him, you would not be there. And and I I just don't understand this lack of respect that some of the younger people. Maybe they have. just don't know. But they should know because I here's mean, the thing: they don't have nobody to. Not knowing is a lack of respect too. Because for me, like, say I study oh. the Bible or the scriptures, right? Yeah. I can't be like, oh, well, I'm coming into church and I'm going to tell the pastor that he's not important. If I, if the more I study... But you I know study, why? is because you were brought up in the church. That's true. Like, a lot of these dancers weren't brought up in dance. I think that's the misconnect right what there. What are they brought up in, they, then? They, okay, so, like... TikTok? Yes, bro. Okay. They just got in the scene... <laughs> Let me write. Because, like... Think about it. When we came up, we were at comps. Yeah. We met these OGs. We we came up. We know these people were in what we were trying to do. Now, it's gotten to the point where people can just jump in the game. That's true. They don't got to meet people. Or they don't got to prove themselves. So now they think, oh, I, this is what I do and this is it. <laughs> as, as opposed to knowing where the shit came from. Yeah. Knowing that I used to buy Mr. Wiggles VHS yeah, tape. Yeah, me too. <laughs> multiple of them, and you probably don't even know who Mr. Wiggles is, and that's crazy to me. So, I think it's come down to respect, bro. Like, yeah. and if you don't know, do your do your research. <laughs> yeah, I almost cussed. 